Welcome back to the Camp Shioka Podcast with me, your host, Josh Stream. And as per usual, I have a very special guest with me here today, Chloe Kimball. Hey. Hi, Chloe. Welcome to the podcast. Good to be here. So you've been... This is your first... Because you're. this is your first time here. Yeah, this is my first year. Okay. How's it been so far? <laughs> so far, so good. I mean, it started off a little crazy, okay. but I really do like it now with day campers this week. So uh, they're a lot. Gotcha. They're yeah. a lot, but they're fun. Crazy, crazy how? Because you were in a cabin? Yeah, crazy because I was in a cabin. It was junior week and... I just feel like so much happened during junior week. Yeah, that's right. Just that first week, and it was just like, wow, okay. Yeah. What was the joke instead of like, I survived Survivor Day? It was like, I survived junior one. No, I survived junior one. That's so (laughs) true. I literally, it was so bad that I needed my mom to come only for one day to just have dinner with me. Yeah, just to have that like. (laughs) Just like have the reset. I was like, all right. Okay, I'm good. I can keep going. But besides that, like. I didn't survive survive day either. <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> the first one. Uh, yeah, my first and only one. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, that's right. gotcha. So, <laughs> tell me about yourself. What's what's your hometown? Like, where are you from? So, I'm from Winfield, West Virginia, which is like super, super small. I don't okay. even think we have we have a volunteer fire department. Like, <laughs> we can't even have a real fire department. Yeah. So that's like if that gives you a yeah. a little view of what's happening, that's what it is. Okay. Um. Yeah, <laughs> my hometown's super close knit in like the best way possible i mean word spreads fast but besides that yep. i love it bad gas travels fast in a small town <laughs> <laughs> no kidding but yeah i love everyone about it i love i love my team like i played softball we were super close so yeah. that was like my hometown family and i still like we still keep in touch which is really yeah. awesome good but, yeah. good good you went to college there or you went to college no i went to i go to liberty so okay. it's like four and a half from where i'm from gotcha what are you going for i'm there for communications so it's integrated communications I don't really know what that entails. Yeah. Kind of just talking. So I like it. It's fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're on a podcast, so you kind of have to be good at talking. Yeah. To a certain degree. A little bit. Gotcha. (laughs) Gotcha. What made you want to pick that major? Was it just, like you said, just talking? or? So I was first a business communications. Actually, okay. First, I was a elementary education major. But before I even got to college, I was like, all right, switch that. Yeah. So then I switched to business communication. And then I took a microeconomics class and I said, bye. (laughs) <laughs> done with that i will not i will not be there so i dropped the business part and just was like all right give me something that i don't have to do math uh don't have to do accounting don't have to do whatever i just did and they're like communications i was like right perfect and my mom had just sent me like the morning that i decided to switch she sent me this thing that was like for integrated communication i was like all right all right god like if i have um mm. a sign give me it like give me give me a sign yep. and as i'm walking to my micro economics class or my business class i see on like the tv that's like the um the president or the whatever the dean of communications yeah. like his thing comes up and it's like on a rotator so like i'd have to be there in the five seconds that he was there so i was like all right switching so yeah. i switched in that class dang that's cool yeah gotcha it was like an hour process and i was like all right from <laughs> okay. the text to like when i switched yeah that's so cool. I had something similar happen today. I'm trying to stay down here because yeah. I'm originally from Wisconsin and I've just been praying about that. And then today maintenance, Josh came up and was like, Hey, are you thinking about staying down here? It's like, yeah, why? And he's like, well, there's this opportunity. It was like, perfect. <laughs> like I'm there. Praise God. He literally, yeah. Right. I'm there. It was, yeah, it was cool. So you've been, remind me, you've been, cause your, your role is counselor. You don't, you're yeah. not like activities or whatever. No. You're just, okay. And that's like wherever they tell you to go for the week. You just <laughs> Pretty much. So like, <laughs> It's like we figure out on the ending, not even the ending meeting. No, yeah, the end meeting of like the previous week, and then we go. Mm-hmm. And love that because at my last camp, we would figure out the day of, and Ooh. then you'd have to move all your stuff. Like you would stay <laughs> in one cabin, all the girls would stay in one cabin for like mm-hmm. to get close, and then you would move. And then it was like the morning, and you were trying to get it done before the campers got there. Yeah, I get you. How does that, because we watched like a promotional video for your old camp. Yeah. How how does that camp compare to Camp Shioka? Like, how would you like compare hmm. the two? I guess it, they're really different. I mean, in the same they Camp Shioka has more downtime where you would like talk with your campers, mm. more like I don't know what the word is. There's just more downtime, and yeah. at Alpine, there's like there's a lot of activities going on. Like, you can pay extra to go rafting on the like stuff like that. Go mm-hmm. whatever caving hiking you can do all that stuff but like since 
I mean, obviously because there's a New River Gorge in West Virginia and mm. we're in the middle of Louisiana. There's not like, you can't really compare the two. Yeah, we have Lakeside. <laughs> yeah, <but> Lakeside. <laughs> Lakeside is our treacherous climb. Yeah, I get you. I get you. So it sounds like this, was Alpine a Christian camp or yeah. was it? Okay. Alpine was a Christian Bible camp. So it was like Alpine Bible camp. So mm. normally how I got there was my church, my youth group, whenever I was like in third grade, mm-hmm. they start like they send people and they go as like a church and there's a sponsor and the sponsor is normally like the youth pastor. Yeah. And so that's how that works. But then in middle school they were like, okay, we're going to a different camp cause like you aged out, but I just mm-hmm. wanted to go to high school camp. So I just went on my own and it was gotcha. fun. Okay. And that you were there as a camper. Yeah. I was and there as a camper and then I did, um, SRT, which is solid rock teen, which is kind of like junior counseling here. Mm-hmm. And then now I'm here. Gotcha. Gotcha. And yeah. so, like, speak more into that. That's how you got to camp is, like, you – because you were a camper at Alpine, and then you were a counselor, and now you're here as a counselor. Like, Yeah, so I was a camper, and then I did a program, SRT, mm-hmm. the SRT program. And then I didn't counsel. I mean, I was there for four weeks one summer, like, two weeks as a camper, two weeks as a work – like, work. You actually mm-hmm. had to pay $100 to work. So you'd pay $100, and then you'd work for free for two weeks. <laughs> okay. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> but – so it was, like, all volunteer work. Yeah. And then – I knew I wanted to counsel and, but I wanted like a new change of scenery. Yeah. So during all that, I don't know. I just kind of stumbled into Camp Chioka. It was on Instagram. Kind of was looking around and John Luke went to Liberty. So I knew him kind of, they say John Luke a lot, like the Robertsons a lot. So yeah. I just kind of knew him from that. Okay. And I was like, well, this camp looks pretty legit. So I'll <laughs> apply. Yeah. Gotcha. And now we're here. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? What was the hiring process like? Because like for everybody, it's different. And so I want to hear like your story of like, just like you applied. I'm assuming you had an interview like that sort of like walk me through what that was like for you. Yeah. So I applied probably. I remember looking at it during Thanksgiving break. And I think I applied also during Thanksgiving break. Okay. And then I had like they emailed me back. They said, um, then they were like, hey, can we set up an interview? And at the time, I was also doing other inter- other interviews for other camps. So I got, mm. I don't know. It was sometime during Christmas break that when I like had the phone call interview. And me and, it was me, John Luke, and Carrie. And me and John Luke really just talked about like Liberty and why I want to do this and why I want to come to Louisiana Heat. And they were like, one question that I do remember was he was like, so like, how do your parents feel about you coming this far away? Hmm. And my, me and my mom had just come, had the conversation of her being like, hey, like, if you don't want to go, hey, totally supporting you not going 15 hours away. Like, yeah. totally okay with that. And I was like, no, she's totally on board with it. Like, totally on board. <laughs> just <laughs> whatever you need to say to yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, she was on board. She was just like, hmm. Yeah. But it was yeah. good. It's a long ways away. It is. So how did you have dinner with your mom? She's 15 hours away or was she just in town? No, no. I like texted her. Um, so I texted her and I was like, cause she had to come anyway to bring my passport because okay. she didn't want to mail it, which valid, mm-hmm. but she wanted to mail it. And I was like, okay, like you don't have to mail it. So she was going to fly down here, just drop it off and then fly back. Mm-hmm. But she was in Florida with my mom, with my dad and my brother. So she was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just like hop on a flight and then come Monday night and we'll go to dinner and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I don't know if I can go to dinner because if I have overnight cabin, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. I but you. then I ended up being on day camp. So then I got to like have dinner with her and it was good. I okay. was, it was a good reset. Gotcha. I need, I was like doing the math in my head. I'm like, if she, if you had dinner with her, yeah. she's 15 hours away. Like how? <laughs> yeah, no, she's, she would not drive that. She's a flyer. <laughs> she's a flyer. Yeah. I'm a driver. So that's, that's mm-hmm. a different world Yeah, for me. It seems like, I guess I'd have to do the math because I drove down here. And so like the math of like flying versus driving. Yeah. Like, I don't Doesn't know. Doesn't add up. Anyway. So like how long did you back to the applying process or application process? How long did you have to wait to hear back that like you got accepted? Mm. I actually have no idea. Mm-hmm. I, okay. Funny story. So okay. I was. <laughs> So I was applying to also this camp called Kanakuk and Kanakuk had texted me being like, Oh, okay. Wait, back up. Okay. First, first I (laughs) did, wasn't getting the email that like your application had been sent in. And I was like, and the email was like not going through. So I was like, shoot, like 
I'm just like, it's just not working, mm. whatever. But then Kanakuk, who I was also applying to, texted me during that time and was like, hey, Chloe, yada, 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 we're Kanakuk. I guess I just missed the whole we're Kanakuk part because I was texting mm. him as if I was texting this camp, as, this, as if I was texting Camp Chioka. I was like, yeah, I'm so excited to work at Camp Chioka. And whoever I was texting was like, like this isn't Camp Chioka. And I was like, oh, perfect. Sorry. But yeah, so that was, that was a minute. That was, yeah. but then I was like, okay, it finally went through. I think like I'd emailed and been like, Hey, like it's not working or something. I don't know what like I emailed did. Carrie. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I, remember, I don't know. It's all kind of blurry. Yeah. I remember having issues with, it was either the website or it was like the automated, automated emails. Like mm, it was like, Oh, this yeah. is John Luke Robertson. And then he'd message me like four times the same email. And it's like, yeah. Uh, okay. That's interesting. But, oh, well, I mean, we we're here, so we made, we made it. it. We made it. <laughs> Regardless of the automated confusion. Um, what like thoughts and feelings was like were going through your head when you were waiting? Like, were you nervous about it, or it sounds like you were applying to multiple camps, so you were like just yeah. trying to pick one? Like, I was kind of like I'd apply, I'd applied, and then I actually had like <laughs> I got shoulder surgery for like <laughs> tore my labrum, and then I just completely forgot about it, and just kind of went about my life. Okay, and then I was thinking, I was like, oh shoot, hmm, wonder what happened with that. Yeah, and. <laughs> Like I go through my emails, still haven't gotten anything. And I remember like, I would think I was at Walmart and I got the email being like, or no, I was on the Stairmaster at Liberty, like working out. And I was like on my phone. I was like, oh, look. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. And I don't know when that was. Maybe like, I want to say that was in winter still. So maybe yeah. like February. And was it John Luke that texted you? That you, um, or was it Carrie? I don't or know. Or whoever. <laughs> I think it was an email. Okay, interesting. Because I just I got texted by John Luke, and he's like, "Oh, do you want to come?" I was like, "Absolutely." Oh, but I wanted to see like, I had had to like pray about it when I because it was it was this whole like thing for me like trying to figure out if I should be here, if I should stay in my home state, and that sort of thing. So it sounds like for you, you were just on the stair. Is this casual? Like, yeah, I was just kind of. Like, oh, cool. I was like, oh, okay, perfect. Because I was still waiting to hear back from like other. Because I didn't want to close my. I mean, after the interview, definitely Camp Chico was my favorite. Okay. Out of all the interviews, because huh. one, they were super, um, they responded like Carrie would respond pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Canagog just didn't. And like that was, uh, that just made me mad. Yeah. Especially like when trying to figure out like what I'm going to do for summer. Yeah. Like, stuff like be, that. You can't be waiting around. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, perfect. Let me, they would just respond. And I like appreciated that. Mm-hmm. So I figured out that I got that job and I also got Canagog, but Canagog, one thing that I was like, okay, I'm just going to wait a week. I'm going to wait a week, figure it out, whatever. I, they said that they were going to call me one of like at the end of the week and that just, they just didn't call. Yeah. And I was like, okay, fine. Like, I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and say yes mm-hmm. to Camp Chioka because it was my favorite anyway. But Kenny Cook ended up calling me and was like, hey, we would love for you to work with our littles whenever. And I just was like, yeah, sorry, I'm not coming. Mm. And thanks, but no yeah thanks and they were like polite or did they just ghost yeah no it was good they were okay. very polite they were great um yeah candy cook's weird though they have like five different camps and i just didn't kind of understand it like one yeah. of my friends was just like hey you should apply and i was like okay yeah <laughs> i get you <laughs> to be fair like even with with camp shioka i was confused like i'm all the way in wisconsin and i'm looking at the website and i'm like okay there's camp shioka and there's like high schools high school junior middle school and sportsman's camp and I th- honestly thought that Sportsman's Camp was like its own month. Mm. And it was like, I am oh unsure I'm sorry. of, you're good. It's raining outside. It's raining for, outside. For, the, for the audio yes. listeners. You like rain? Yes, I love rain. I'd yeah. much rather it be raining than, because then you have to be outside whenever it's sunny. Yeah, I get you. I don't know what it is about Louisiana, but like just the sudden, like it's pouring rain That's like right how now. it is in Florida, honestly. Really? Yes. Wisconsin is not that way. You know, like no. uh, an hour beforehand. It's you're like, like, oh, it's, it's about to rain. Yeah, it's going to rain. It's about it's starting to rain it's raining it's over now like i told one of my girls i was like guys she was like miss chloe is it about to storm and i said yeah and she was i'm terrified of storms and i said oh (laughs) oh no yeah Mm." that's gonna be hard (laughs) well because at that point it literally was not it just simply wasn't cloudy outside so yeah that's what i'm saying is it's like oh it's sunny and it's just like just suddenly (laughs) like yeah yeah that's crazy 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 weather just like even in the united states no like, it's i just agree all different it's okay now we're talking about weather which is so i mean weather in louisiana which, <laughs> which somewhat applies to uh, 
we're not from this state. It's interesting. That's true. I literally you know. thought this was a whole different country, honestly, when I first got here. Yeah, it feels like a different planet. It is a different planet. Like, I don't The people of West Virginia are the same as Louisiana, I okay. think. But it's just like the train. And like coming here and being like, have you, like I tried crawfish for the first time. I tried mm. gumbo for the first time. I did a lot of different things. Like got a Sonic drink for the first time. Like mm-hmm. I just, I mean, West Virginia has Sonic. I just don't think I've ever gotten a drink from there. Yeah. Like, hmm. I don't know. Wisconsin doesn't have Sonic. So people are like, oh, you've never had a, this thing? I'm like, no. Nope. I've never, you, you guys don't have Culver's. And like, what is Culver's? I, pause. <laughs> I had Culver's whenever I went, okay, during think, Christmas break. Yep. I went to Minnesota mm-hmm. and my friends were like, Chloe, I, cause I rave about Wendy's. Wendy's. Oh, I could. I love Wendy's. That's good for no reason. Fresh meat, never frozen. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Literally, quality is our recipe. <laughs> Anyways, they're like, "Chloe, you've got to try Culver's." Mm-hmm. So after gymnastics meet with my friends, we just went, and I was like, "Thank you, thank you for whatever you've done for me. <laughs> this blessing. Thank you, God, for Cheese sending curds. me here. Thank you for <laughs> sending like." Thank you for these friends. Yeah, Josh was very thankful that night. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, down here it's like Sonic slims i don't even know if slims is okay like, i thought slims has a liberty and i thought slims was only a liberty thing oh yeah and i was like wait what <laughs> came here and you're like i came here and i was like no way yeah that's so funny <laughs> but. so so what advice would you give to like we're talking about louisiana and coming down mm-hmm. here especially since we're both out of state yeah, yeah, yeah like what advice would you give to future staff that like are like maybe they're listening to this podcast Mm -hmm. or they're like you saw something on instagram Mm -hmm. or maybe you hear about it from one of their many the robertson's many podcasts you know what advice would you give like applying or you know moving here when they get accepted that sort of thing Mm -hmm. i would say don't have like i came here and i was like oh my gosh it's gonna be so much fun there's not gonna be anything wrong it's gonna (laughs) be so much fun which Yes, it's been absolutely so much fun, but Mm -hmm. like it's still ministry and ministry is hard work Mm. and it just kind of gets swept under the rug sometimes. And I wasn't expecting that in that side of things, Um, but also just being prepared for the heat. Like the heat is real. And I was just laughing everybody off. I was like, yes, ha ha, it's going to be wet. Like some girl told me I was going to be sweating from like sun up to sundown. And I was like, that is the most truest statement ever. (laughs) Yeah. But that, that was the worst. Also, if you're applying... I'm gonna look at this camera. If okay, you're applying, <laughs> if you're applying, be prepared for Survivor Day. Survivor Day is like, ha ha, Survivor Day. No, <laughs> Survivor Day is not ha ha, Survivor Day. Survivor Day is, oh my gosh, I may die. I guys, I ended up in the hospital. This is real. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's truly, true. truly, I say to you, be prepared. <laughs> <sighs> let me let me quote some Bible verses for yeah, you right now. Truly, truly, I got a concussion on Survivor yeah, Day. Truly, truly, I was passed out in that upper lawn. And Zachary uh, told me I he saw me pass out twice. I didn't even know I passed out twice. I thought it was only a one-time thing. Mm-hmm. So. I think you're scaring future staff away. Oh more guys, than no, it's so much fun. Please come. It's so much fun. <laughs> it is so much fun. No, guys, I <laughs> love it. Cushion. You're gonna die. Yeah, you're, it's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, just don't don't do this. No, guys, it's so much fun. I love it. I I wish I didn't know much about it. I wish really? I would have done more research before coming. Okay. But I guess I just didn't look on Spotify for this podcast. This podcast probably would have helped. Yeah. Well, it's, I, yeah, I, I didn't even know that it, there was a podcast per se. And so John Luke was like, do you want to host it? I was like, yes. Cause like I have a background in radio and yeah. so like vid- vid- video and radio. And so this is literally both of those. Yeah. And like, I don't know how many times I can hear people be like, Oh, you know, do you do audiobooks? Like your voice is just so blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, wait, I've never thought about that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thank you. It's, I, I don't know. I was born with it. I don't really know. <laughs> like, like, thank, thank, my, thank our creator. For yeah. That one. Thanks God for, for my, <laughs> my nice voice. And like, I don't even know. I asked people, I've sat them down and been like, tell me why you like how my voice sounds. And they're like, it's just good. And I'm like, 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 <gasps> tell is me, it like, is it the timber? Is it the, yeah. Like, is it like, I don't understand like, my dulcet tone or bassy. Like, I just don't get it. It's anyway, but yeah. I mean, I'm going to use it. And so here we are <laughs> on here the Camp Shioka podcast. I do have, let me see. I have a couple more questions. Okay. I know that you have to get the <laughs> stuff's like <laughs> Wait. flying Wait. outside. Is the rapture happening? I don't. I'm just kidding. Guys. I don't know. I, don't I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Knock on wood. Knock on literally. wood. Literally. Um, that's so distracting. <laughs> it is so um, distracting. What's okay? So, what's your favorite? Regardless of what's happening outside, um, what is your favorite aspect of camp so far? Because, like you said, you've been 
uh, female counselor in cabins. Mm-hmm. You've been day camp. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite aspect of Camp Shioka just in general? Or I, multiple. Yeah, I really enjoy huddle groups that are for the high school. Okay. I love that part. I love the aspect of sitting down with someone who can disciple also me, but also my campers because mm. I like we had Claire and Claire just knew was very knew what she was talking about and like had such a background in the gospel and in the Bible and like what what we were learning about mm. and having I kind of just expected the girls to open up more during prayer night. Um, but they were opening up about their like struggles and what they were doing in broad daylight during like in the morning at like 11 a.m. And it just it w- empowered me to be like, OK, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to speak about my struggles, too, because I'm not the only one. Mm. And so having wow. having one girl start and it just started like a waterfall mm-hmm. and it was a really good it was a really good time. Yeah, that seems to be out of everything that you've shared. That seems to be a through line. Like yeah. here at Camp Shioka is like very intentional about building those relationships, yeah. building that community. And yeah, you're only here for a week, but like you may have friends for life, like because of, of this place and just how God works like in this community. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's been, it's been a lot of fun, like filming everybody, like even just like being the guy behind the camera and behind the scenes and mm-hmm. uh, like making the recaps and, and see the kids faces like light up. Like I remember when I yeah. you know, went down that slide on <laughs> water day. Yes. Or... I, <laughs> Riley said something. She was, we went around the room and just saying like what our favorite part of camp was. Mm-hmm. And she said she, like, she was just so thankful to be able to capture the moments. And I think mm-hmm. that is so, that's exactly what you guys are here doing. Just capturing the moments. Yeah. Right. Because I, that's what I wish I had. Like I still have a CD from my first camp of like all the pictures uh whatever camera guy was using yeah and so i I just love that stuff and i love that now you can go back and look at that stuff yeah absolutely yeah it's been the way that i it was described to me because i did a camp in maine last summer and the way that it was described to me is like your so for the videos that i make like you're not capturing how it was you're capturing how it will be remembered Mm -hmm. so like the kids having just an absolute ball mm-hmm. or, you know, having a really deep and intentional moment with their counselors, like that's going to like really impact them. And like, you know, maybe in however many cats are really pouring out there. Oh my gosh. It literally looks like the time in junior camp whenever the lights went out. Oh yeah. See, that was another memory. Like capturing that. Yeah. Like singing like, in the rain. Yeah. I literally wasn't there because I had to go grab one of my girl's medicine because she's so freaked out of storms <laughs> that she just can't like, I don't even yeah, know. That's crazy. I just, I, I love explaining. And that goes back to what I was saying before is like, I love showing people the junior one recap mm-hmm. and they're like, why are the lights off? And it's like, Oh, here's oh, this because whole story. Aristosha, Aristosha. Like, it's just like, we had to do that in front of the kids. Pause on that. Okay. It's not Aristosha. It's I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a wonderful feeling. I'm Woo. that is not how the rain song goes. Me and me and me and Josie have talked about this. We're like, okay. yes, this is no, I, I've never see. I don't know either. I know Aristosha, but I don't know what you're talking about. No. Aristosha. They, they were supposed Who to says be Aristosha. They don't even call it the uh, singing in the rain. Is that they're different things? No, they're not the different things because they say the same words. Thumbs up, thumbs yeah. up, elbows in, tongue elbows out, in. whatever. Yes. Really? We do thumbs up, elbows in, knees together, knees together, back down, head up, tongue out. That's what we do. I've only ever heard of Aristosha. I've never heard of what. Yeah, you're that's another about. culture shock. Is that not everyone does the same things as you? <sighs> Yeah, right. Can't even do that. <laughs> well, at in the camp that I went to in Maine, they did Aristosha. And so I knew what it was, but I've never heard of this the yeah. rain dance. Or Boy, whatever. my. <laughs> it's not don't my fault. I don't know. I'm I'm usually the one filming those things. I don't like pay attention to what the lyrics are. <laughs> <laughs> well, better start paying attention. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. All right. Um, I don't know. Maybe I we should probably end the podcast yeah, before like we probably. get struck by lightning or probably. something. But this was a great conversation. Yes. Thank you for joining me, Thank Chloe. Thank you. Um, really appreciate it. And so that's all for now here on the Camp Shioka Podcast. And maybe one of these days we'll see you out here in the Pines and Oaks. Bye-bye for now. Bye.